Hi guys, it's Sophie, and today I wanted to do a review video for you on The Secret Life of Bees by Sue Monkid. I'm sorry it's a bit late, I planned on doing it last weekend, but everything was a bit busy and I just had so much to do I didn't get a chance, so I just thought I'd do it for you now. So, the base plotline of this book is about a young girl who is living in a house with her father, um, who she doesn't get on with very well, and she decides to leave the situation that she's in. Um, she has a very sort of tumultuous relationship with him because when she was very young, I think sort of four or five, her mother died and there's a lot of blame towards her, both on her side and on her father's side. So she's kind of almost running away from that feeling and, and trying to sort of establish herself outside of this. And there's a few sort of events that kickstart this leaving. So the period this book set in, um, people still sort of aren't okay with with black people having the vote and with black people sort of becoming more you know members of society whereas before it was very much sort of tools of use um, so she has a maid called Rosalie who is trying to vote for the first time and when she goes to try and vote some people say some unkind things to her and it all sort of starts to fall apart so Lily and Rosaline both leave together, they leave the situation they're in and they go travelling across America to try and find something but they're not, they're not even sure where they're going. Now, Lily has a couple of things that her mother left for her, a sort of really small collection of things that are really precious for her when her mother was alive and they kind of form the basis of how she thinks of her mother. So one of these things is a picture of the Virgin Mary, a black version of the Virgin Mary and it is for sort of you know, just, just literally kind of postcard. On the back it has a location and that's it. So the pair of them decide, we're going to go, we're going to follow this random postcard and where will it lead us, we don't really know, but we're going to go anyway. And so through a series of events, they meet a group of sisters who are beekeepers and who are making sort of this wonderful honey. And they are they are all black, the, the sisters, sorry. Um, and sort of Rosaline and Lily come in and they, they join them and sort of come into the family a bit if you like. Um, and the bulk of the story happens in this period, that really the, the journey they go on leaving home is quite a very, is a very short part of the book, it's only probably 50, 60 pages worth and the rest of it is them at this farm. Um, and as I sort of spoke about in my wrap up, this book to me is close to being sort of a feminist text, um, which I didn't realise until the end. I mean, obviously it plays a lot on on race and on perception of race at the time, and, um, and on the perception of people of colour to make their own choices, um, and also the perception of people, white people who associate with people of colour. We also have very strong indicators of sort of womanhood and what it means to be a woman and sort of the control and the parallels between the control that white people have over black people to the parallels that men have over women. Having sort of spoken about that and sort of explained the book a little bit for you, I did have some issues with this book. The, f the first being sort of that the, the, the black characters are stereotypes to an extent, I feel, um, and I wanted to see a little bit more diversity. I felt as though the characters were very strong characters, don't get me wrong, I did actually really like the characters. It wasn't until I stopped reading and looked back that I realised actually maybe these characters aren't as fully full of flesh as you might imagine. They had strong personalities of their own but they still very much followed sort of tropes. Um, if you do read this one I think you'll see what I'm talking about. And as I sort of said with the themes of motherhood and race underneath, you see them sort of using the metaphor of bees throughout the book um, as a sort of you know, ongoing long metaphor for society as a whole and for how we work together and what we produce and what the value of these productions are. Um, it is very interesting and it is a very good book. I'm definitely glad I read it and it made me want to pick up sort of feminist texts again, which I haven't read in a while. Um, I think this book, above all else, is about mothers and is about women. I think race is obviously very important and I think at first glance this would be the driving point of the novel, but in actuality, it's more about women and men, in my opinion, than it is about black people and white people. I think in a way, the way this is presented, the black characters and the white characters, it, you kind of stop seeing it as you read through the book. You're aware of it because it's, it's talked about, but it's not, it doesn't sort of impact the way they see one another. I don't see any sort of tension really. And even the main character, she only really, who, who is white, sorry, only really picks up on the feelings of others when someone says something to her, for her personally there's not 
she doesn't really consider it that much, it's just the people she's living with. But especially for the end of this book, it, it is very much about women and about the strength of, of women and allies as a group. There is also a character in here who is male, um, who very sort of seamlessly fits into this group of, of women and his ideals and his ideas of women are perfectly in keeping with what I would think women should be thought of as individuals, as human beings. And it's about sort of that versus the idea that women are owned. And owning people in general, it, it's very good, it's quite varied. I'd really like to know what you guys think of it if you have read it and if you disagree or agree with me on any of these points. And I hope for those who haven't read it, this might spur you on to read this kind of thing and just see what you think on your own. It is very interesting, it did make me think. Thank you so much for watching my videos, it means an awful lot. And I will see you really soon with another video. I might even film another one now. <laughs> okay, bye bye.